everybody, it's Phoenix Talon here, and we're going to do a quick Minecraft and NBT Explorer video. So I'm going to have everything timestamped, so you can skip to the parts you want to go ahead and skip to. But let's get on with the intro and tell you why we're here. So I got some comments uh, the other day or a couple of days ago, where uh, a person asking, how do you change a game that was a server that didn't allow for cheats or, you know, creative mode and, and whatnot, over to you know, when it goes back to single player, how do you allow that user to then do cheats? Now, there's a quick answer, which of course most of you already know, and then there's the MBT answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the quick way first uh, without using MBT Explorer, then I'm gonna show you the way with MBT Explorer. Then after that, I'm gonna throw in a couple of more things with MBT Explorer to make life a little bit more fun so that maybe you can take away some more things from this little tutorial video and maybe you won't be so afraid to use MBT Explorer. So that said, let's go ahead and jump into Minecraft. So we're going to, bang, there's Minecraft. We're going to create a new world. So this is going to be called uh, Tutorial World Delete Later. <laughs> and we're going to leave cheats off because that's the whole point. And just because we're feeling silly, why don't we make this thing hardcore, okay? And it's going to be difficulty hard. There's nothing else going on here. And we're just going to create a new world. So what this is going to do is, it's, it, it, let's say you had a server that was a hardcore server. Lots of people are playing on it. And, you know, whatever the, the reason, or maybe it's not even hardcore. Maybe it's just a hard server. And there's no cheats allowed. You were not OP on the server. So that means you have no rights to any of that. How do you make your single player game then, which we have videos on how to do that. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, how do you make your game now? Wow, okay. Uh, let's talk about some really nice terracotta biome here. How do you make your game back to uh, where it allows you some cheats? So here we go. First easiest way. And this is the one like everybody know. Well, not everybody, but everybody know. And you go in here and press escape, open to land, and then you can change your game mode to whatever. I think we were hardcore. Um, so you just... You can stay survival if you want. You can allow your cheats. And then when you hit enter, now you've created basically a server, a multiplayer game on your local area network. That's what LAN is. And now other people on your LAN can go ahead and join you. And cheats are enabled. See, I can go ahead and you know change my game mode. Um, commands work. I can hit it this way, game mode, um, creative. And then I can go ahead and set my game mode to creative. So if I want to go ahead and set back survival. Now you say, well, what's, what am I doing up here? I'm holding F3 and I'm pressing F4 at the same time. And that's allowing me to switch. So if you didn't know how to do that, I hope that you, you know, that's a good takeaway. All right. So survival mode and we're in land and that's fine. Now here's a problem with that though. Let's go ahead and save and quit. And, and a lot of you already know this. The ones of you who knew how to do that part, you already know what I'm about to show you is that here, if I go back into the world now, I'm going back in and you saw we had land, whatever, we shut that world down and we just kicked everybody out of our world. Now we have a problem. I can't do the F3 and F4 business anymore. I have no permissions. Uh, my game mode, it's not recognized because there's no commands allowed. So the reason is that every time you shut down a land world, you have to restart it into land if you wanna enable your cheats again. That's not what we wanna do. So we're going to save and quit here, and we're going to switch over to our desktop for the moment, and we're going to go ahead and do a Google. So if you'll remember from previous videos, I don't know if I've got that in the right spot there for you can see. Um, you can just do a quick Google search for MBT Explorer, go down here to the Jakarta, uh, GitHub, and download your MBT Explorer that way. I've already done this. I'm not going to do it again because that's just plain old silly. Then you go ahead and open your MBT Explorer. And if your world doesn't show up, like for example, I had NBT Explorer open before I made that world. So I'm gonna show you something really cool. There's this little thing called a refresh. All right, and again, if your saves don't show up, you can go in here and you can go ahead and go to the folder that has your Minecraft saves. I just keep mine in the default, the app data roaming.minecraft. If yours is not there, you'll have to navigate to where your save folder is. I can't tell you where that is because I don't know your computer. But if it's in the standard place, this will, this will pop up. So we'll hit refresh. Bang. There it is. Tutorial wor world. <laughs> Tutorial word. <laughs> Words are hard. 
delete later. We're gonna go ahead and plus that open. I'm hoping you guys can see that. If you can't, I have I've tried to make this big without you know zooming all the way in. And you're gonna go here, go ahead in here, and down here to the bottom, you'll see level dot dat. So you're gonna go ahead and open that up. Then you see something called data. You're gonna go ahead and open that up. These these little things right here are why you need MBT Explorer. Uh, because MBT Explorer will open these files so that you have access to all these variables and they're called compound tags so that you have access to these and you can go ahead and open them and manipulate this at will. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and you're going to see a whole bunch of cool things down here. You're going to see one called allow commands. This is what enables cheats. So if you go ahead and double click on this, you can go ahead, it's, it may open in another place, like it opened on my other screen for whatever reason, it does that. You're gonna go ahead and switch the zero to a one. Now you say, well, why do I do that? So I'm gonna explain it to you. If you don't know anything about binary or coding, or variables for that matter, the zero is false or off. The one is on or true. Now that's not gonna hold true for all the things that you can change, but in this case, allow commands is a yes, no system. So we're gonna hit it to one, we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna click this little disk icon up here and hit save, okay? So we're gonna hit save. Now, now, if we go back in to our world, we're only changing one thing real quick. I mean, we're gonna have some fun later, don't worry. All right, we're just gonna change that one thing real quick to allow commands. Now that we've allowed commands, we should be able to come in here, and I, I like the quick uh, bar here where you hold F3, press F4, and you now have the ability to put yourself in creative mode, for example, and to show that commands are active, you can do the game mode. Uh, oh, I forgot the slash. Derp. Game mode right here. See, it recognizes the command now, and you can go ahead and set it to whatever you want. Okay, survival, for example. Oh, I, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> survival, tab, now enter. There we go. Now we're survival. Okay, and we're still hardcore. So there you go. Now, let's say, um, you know, whatever the reason, uh, you were in your hardcore world and, you know, you came up here and you were flying around in your hardcore creative world. Yeah, that would never happen. But let's say you're in hardcore and you're like, oh no, I died. Okay, so... Here you go. So what happens in a hardcore world if you die? Well, you have two options. You can spectate the world. So now I can just go, I think you can go wherever you want. Yep, you can just fly around, have fun, great times, right? Okay, good to go. Uh, or you can leave, but you can't do anything. You can't ever build anything and you can never uh, load back into this game. You are essentially done. So save and quit the title. The game is actually over for you. So now let's go back in to the MBT Explorer. So what ended up happening here is uh, we may have to refresh. Um, uh, I think we're okay. I'm looking for, yeah, I think we're fine here. Okay, so um, we're, we're here in MBT Explorer now and our game, we've died. So we can come here to where it says hardcore and we can actually turn that off if you want. Um, but if you want here, you know what? I think we actually have to refresh this by exiting MBT, hold on, and restarting it. And if you'll come back over to where we can see everything, sometimes it doesn't refresh for you and that's fine. Level dot that. There we go. All right, here we go. All right. I guess it was already a one. That's right. Hardcore is on. I'm so sorry. I thought it was something we were dead. <laughs> In any case, so hardcore is on. So you're going to go ahead and double click that, bring over hardcore, and we want to turn hardcore to zero. Okay. Then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit save. Then we're going to go back into Minecraft, single player. You notice the hardcore is gone. It says survival mode and cheats are on. So if you've lost your game due to a hardcore malfunction, <laughs> you can go ahead and use MBT Explorer 
And guess what? You got your world back. Okay. Now you say, um, you know, I all the cheats still on, all that. And you say, but wait, I really wanted to be in hardcore. I really wanted to be in hardcore. So I'm going to go ahead and save. All right. So now I save the game. Go back to MBT Explorer. And then now uh, let me refresh just to make sure everything's updated. We go back to hardcore. Open that up again. This is a lot of fun. Go in here. Press 1. Hit Enter. Hit save and go back into single and, oh, you can't see that. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get that. There we go. Single player. Boom. Hardcore. And when we come back in, doop the doop the doop we are in hardcore and you got your world back. Simple as that. I just saying. <laughs> so that is some fun stuff. Uh, another thing you can do, we're going to go ahead and say, what if you want to change your difficulty? All right. Well, we can do that as well for you. So let's say you don't want to play hardcore anymore. You don't want to even play on hard difficulty. You want to take it nice and easy, nice and easy, right? So let's come in here and we're going to go ahead and change. Uh, I hate that it opens up in another window for, or another screen for me. But anyway, uh, you press zero for hardcore. I don't want to play hardcore anymore. Uh, difficulty. There it is. So now difficulty is not a, a one yes, no uh, thing. There are different game modes. And zero is peaceful, meaning, you know, there's no hostile mob spawns. Um, one is easy. Two is normal. And three is hard. Now, hardcore modes are automatically set to hard. So we want it to be, let's say, easy. Okay, we want hostile mobs. We just don't want to run for our lives all the time. So we're going to set that to one. Because remember, zero is peaceful, one is easy. So we hit yes, or hit okay. Then we're going to hit save. Uh, we still have cheats enabled. And we're still uh, not hardcore anymore. Okay? So then we're going to come over here back to Minecraft. Uh, oh, and actually, um, I, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was going to say we can change our game mode from there, too, but it, it's fine. Um, I think game mode with cheats is much easier. But if you wanted to, you could do it that way. Uh, so we're going to come in here. And we're going to load our world again. And you will see that we are in normal survival. Cheats are still enabled. And if you go in here to our options, difficulty is easy. So this gets actually set in hardcore. This gets set to hard and locked, and you can change this otherwise. Uh, but if you're in MBT Explorer already, you might as well just change it from there. It's a lot more fun that way. <laughs> so there you go. Um, let me get out of here. And the, the the reason I keep leaving the world is you can't alter the world while you're in the in the game. But I, I just want you to know um, if you're not comfortable with playing around with MBT Explorer. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but I do recommend, you know, maybe making a world, copying it, you know, save it somewhere. And then play around with that world's settings. And, and just look at some of the fun things that are in here. Okay, so like you got the clear weather time. Um, we didn't touch on game type, but you can. Uh, difficulty we already did. Uh, difficulty locked. It would be a yes, no. Right now it's unlocked, but you could lock it. Um, border size, uh, safe zone. There's a lot of like little fun things that you can play around with in here. And like here, wandering trader spawn chance. Let's say you don't want them to spawn. Then you can change that to where they don't spawn. The spawn delay, you can increase that, you know, so that they stop bothering you. <laughs> There's a lot of like little fun things that you can do with MBT Explorer. And I think it's a very powerful program. If you guys would like to see you know, maybe a series on MBT Explorer. I guess I could do that. But, you know, definitely leave comments letting me know that that's what you want. In any case, uh, thank you for watching. That's the video. And if you have any other questions, this is how videos like this get made. So ask questions. Um, if it's too complicated for me to solve in a comment, then I might make a video like this. Okay. So uh, thank you again for watching. And until the next episode, peace. <laughs>